Hello and a very good evening, good afternoon, welcome back or indeed welcome for the first time to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday morning, Tuesday evening, depending on where you are. What a day it's been so far. I mean, seriously, we kicked off with probably the busiest wake up call I think I've ever been involved in. It was so busy, couldn't keep up with the comments. Loads of you were flying uh, in to get the uh, early deals, if you like. We always like to classify that show as like, you know, the early bird. The early bird uh, grabs the worm. Then we had launch day earlier on. Launch day with the brand new watercolour Christmas collection. Possibly the biggest launch I've ever been involved in. The stock absolutely flying out the door. And just when you thought to yourself, you thought you think to yourself, they'll probably take it a little bit easy. Take it a little bit easy on the final show of the day. No, we're going from a launch day to a launch party where we are bringing you some brand new items. We're bringing you some items which have just recently launched. We're bringing you back in uh, the launch from earlier on. This is, yeah, kind of like the after party from the launch earlier on. And by the way, we've got some previews coming up for you as well of things which are launching later on in the week. I'm delighted to say uh, that my crafty partner in crime and uh, my new uh, driving partner is with me. We are the Crafts Answer to <laughs> Starsky and Hutch. It is Craig Laird! Oh boy, gosh, what another show this is going to be. As if the uh, pre-show party on Wake Up Call wasn't enough, that launch day show was incredible. And do you know what? I thought, I want another piece of that. So let's have the after party. So as Ben said, we've got it on launch party. Maybe you didn't see Wake Up Call or maybe you didn't see Sarah and Ben within launch day. We're going to have it back on the show for you, for you to uh, get some more ideas, inspirations, or maybe to purchase the collection if you've not already. Absolute glorious. It's all about watercolour at Christmas time. But of course you don't have to watercolour, you can alcohol colour if you want. But then I thought, well, Sarah's signature, one of them's not enough. Let's bring in the Nutcracker. Whoop, whoop. So we've got the Nutcracker that's on the show as well. And then I thought, do you know what? what? You've had one launch, you've had two launches. Yeah. Let's go in with another launch that just launched not that long ago. What we're then going to do is we're going to go in with the craft kits. These are mix and match embossing folders that you can see here. But do you know what? What? Do you know what? What? That's not enough. What? We're going to give you a sneak peek. What? Look at something I'm going to be launching in the not too distant future. What? The end of this week. What? They what? I say what? Yeah, so that is why you need to stay tuned over the course of the next hour and 55 minutes. You need to be in. Uh, let me just tell you, already in uh, is Pamela, who says, Hello, Craig, Ben, CTV crew. Uh, and uh, the uh, team social crafters, uh, Rachel is our social superstar uh, this afternoon. Elizabeth in from Texas. Cheryl's in from North Carolina. Uh, Hannah says, Hi, Craig. Hi, Ben. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Charlotte. Hope you guys got your McDonald's. We didn't. But jo Jake and John are out there literally... 20 feet from where I, I am right now. I can see Jake stuffing yep. his face right now, right across from me, out there. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Uh, Johnny had uh, his second donut of the day for his dinner, he's just telling me. Oh, and that's who, what Charlotte Who brought has. them in? Um, who brought the donuts in? Who brought the donuts in, yeah. Don't know, who was it? They, they, say, they apparently say that the Scots are tight. You did bring them in. I did, I, bring them, I brought them in. Did you? I... How many donuts were there? Were there 10 donuts? I... Charlotte, you ungrateful little monkey, yeah. I, I was in Asda this morning yeah. and I bought a great big tray of the donuts yeah. because it was a little bit of a thank you, because let's put it this way, this time yesterday I didn't have this much energy. No. So because the guys were really nice and caring, I bought in a nice big uh, slab of, well, there's about 12 donuts. And Charlotte has just said right now, the first thing she looked at was the price of oh. them. How much were they? Well, it's not the point what the price was. Oh. Well, they were £2.75. For 12 donuts? 12. <laughs> it is good value, but that's not the way that you just said it in my ear, Charlotte. Anyway, we're all really appreciative that you brought those in. I don't really like donuts, so can you, can you get me something else to say thank you? I, I don't really eat donuts. I took you a ride in my car. 
Okay. Johnny, yeah, Johnny, you can have mine. Donut number three. Uh, hi, Patricia. Hi, Mary. We eat very healthily here. Donuts, McDonald's. Uh, Val says, hi, Craig and Ben. Looking forward to the show. Um, and Patty's in as well. Loads of you in. Um, if you do want to say hello during the show, if you want to ask us any questions during the show as well, uh, then please do. We're a little bit hyper. We're up for a bit of fun tonight. We've just come off the back of a little Facebook Live over on uh, my uh, Facebook page. Bit of a road trip in Craig's new car. That's why he... Uh, is as high as a kite. Johnny and Charlotte have eaten about seven donuts between them, uh, so that's why they are as high as a kite. And uh, John and Jake are stuffing their face with McDonald's, so everybody is happy. If you're not happy, let's bring you some crafty happiness right now with this brand new craft kit. I'm not going to unbox it, but I will show you it is here. It is the uh, Mix and Match Embossing Folders craft kit, number 39. And as always, you know with these that they are jam-packed full of craftability. They're great gift ideas, and also, if uh, maybe you have never never used embossing folders before but you just wanted to give it a bit of a go and you wanted a kit that's going to give you everything you need to get the very best out of an embossing folder that's where these come in and um, it's 20 pounds or 20 dollars there or thereabouts if you're a platinum member 24.99 or 24.99 is the deal here uh, and also you're going to get 50 bonus points as well so it's a really nice way to uh, get these started and again if you are somebody who's already got craft kits numbers 1 to 38 well, straight away, automatically, you're going to want to get uh, number 39. So uh, let's have a little talk around this with our Craig and uh, get it unboxed as well. Uh, yeah, talk us around this, um, this kit and let's see what's in it, please. Right, so yeah, uh, initially to start with anyone that relatively new to us, so these are our craft kits. Now for the guys stateside, via HSN, what you can then do is they guys can go into a subscription. That is through HSN, they do that and deal with that themselves. What we do is, once they've been launched for the guys stateside, they come straight here. So everyone else can get their hands on them. Or you guys in America, you might want to go for more. So this is the, well, it launched the other day, but this is the new one, the up to date one all about mixing and matching of embossing folders. Now when it comes to the craft kit, what you get is a minimum of cards of 24, so you can make a minimum of 24 cards. You get over 220 elements, and then if you are collecting them, this one is box number 39. All comes contained in the middle of this box. All you will need is some adhesives, and you will need a die cutting machine of sort, whether to use the folder or if there's dies, um, or some ink for any stamps. So this one, as I say, it's all about the mixing and matching of the embossing folders. So what you get is within this one, you actually get four embossing folders. You get three of them that are five by five. So straight away, it's going to go through your Gemini Junior and it's going to go through your MIDI. So you've got this lovely, gorgeous swirl within this one here. Then we've got potentially one of the most used and sought after design when it comes to embossing folder, and that's pure and simple dots. Oh, okay. Something very, very simple, but it's something that's so sought after. It's not always, or it's not always easy to get plain dot embossing folders. So you've got a five by five one. And then you've got a chevron within this one here. So you've got your three of them, as I say, five by five. They are what I would say is our traditional embossing folder. In other words, it's 2D. Then what you also get is you get a smaller embossing folder, an edgeable embossing folder. Now what this does, on the purple, it embosses, but this grey metal line here, that actually die cuts at the same time. Oh, uh, okay. And we're going to do a demo in a moment, and what we're going to do is we're going to use that in conjunction with one of the other ones at the same time. But that is uh, those ones. Then what we're going to do is you get some sentiment stamps to finish off your card or projects. So you've got six of them. So you've got celebrate your day, send in warm wishes, life is beautiful, you are beautiful to me, you deserve a very special day, and the secret ingredient is always love. So these are the stamps that you've got. Also, I say, stamps and embossing folders, if you take care of them, they're going to last you a lifetime. Yep. But then what you've got is your consumable items. So you've got your die cut words. So these are just going to pop out. They're on matte, which means you can color them with any color mediums that you so wish. Then we're going into the card blanks. So you get your six by six. Then you also get your five by seven in here. Once again, all matte. You'll find all our cardstock is matte because that's 
enabling you to ink and stamp. And then you get some of the smaller C6 size that you can see here. So to go with that, you will, of course, need some envelopes. So you get the envelopes included as well. Amazing. So this is where the 24 elements, a minimum of 24 cards come into play. Yeah. Because you've got your 24 cards. Then what you've got is you've got some ribbon. So you always get Ooh, ribbon nice in colours. them. Sometimes you get organza. Majority yeah. of the time it's satin. Personal preference to me is satin ribbon. And straight away, this is the first look at the colours to expect within this kit. You've got that pastel-y tones, but the mint and the sunshine yellow with the bright pink. Then we're going to go in with our coloured paper. Oh, beautiful. You match. I do, don't I? Look. You do, yeah. Yeah, look. Match in the sleeve. There you go. <laughs> Actually, it does, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Pretty much bang on match there. <laughs> Gosh, Primari got that right, didn't it? <laughs> so yeah, so you can see where the colours all complement just beautifully. Yeah. So eight by eight in these ones here, and you've got your five different colours that run throughout. So that's them ones. And then what you're also going to get, two more things. You've got your card stock, or Ooh, your yeah. pattern card stock here. Mm -hmm. So you've got a variety of different designs. So once again, you get five designs, and then you get one, two, three of each design. Yeah. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, yes, three designs. So you get five, five designs, and you get three of each. That's that. And then last but not least, we even give you some gems to Ooh, finish off. beautiful. So you can see the colour tone. So that's why it's a nice little craft kit in one. Whether it's something you're going to buy for yourself as a little craft kit, Maybe you want to uh, purchase it for a gift for someone, you know, if they're just getting into crafting or, of course, just crafting in general. Nice little set, nice little comprehensive set, little bit of adhesive, and, of course, you will need either a junior or a Gemini MIDI. Of course, they will go in the larger machines, but it's good to know that they're going in these small ones too. Yeah, absolutely. You certainly do get a lot of bang for your buck with these. If you bought them previously, no doubt you'll be coming back and uh, grabbing number 39. If you haven't, and as I say, you want to treat somebody or you want to get into kind of using embossing folders, but you don't want to spend a fortune, uh, this is a great way to be able to do it. Uh, Debbie says, uh, in from Auburn, WA, watching whilst I work. I've already uh, placed my order this morning, uh, but need to see the new dies before I place the second order. Uh, Mary Pat says, my number 39 is on its way. Lynn Harvey says, I've already ordered this craft kit. Uh, got it on order. Uh, Mary Pat saying, love the cut and emboss folders. I can see that being in my most used section. And uh, Susie T on YouTube says, sorry I'm late. I uh, was watching Ben's Facebook Live riding in Craig's new car. Uh, lol, we never actually got to see what the new car looked like though. And that's a really good point. You got to see the inside and we gave you a nice road trip as well. Uh, but if you head over to, uh, Craig, have you got it on your Facebook page, your car? Yeah, I'll oh. pop a picture on, yeah. He'll, he'll put some pictures up of his car uh, a little bit later on. It's a Vauxhall Cross Crossland. Land. Do you know what I was thinking of? Here in the UK, I think it was a, a jeans company many years ago. Was it Stressed Eric or something? Oh, it was the man it, and it, the it. puppet, and they were just doing driving it, around it, in the uh, car. Yeah. Flat, Eric. Flat Eric. Flat Eric. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. What did? <laughs> me and me. You. you. What, you, I reminded you of Flat Eric? Well, it just reminded me, you know, just driving in the car, that advert or commercial. Oh. Yeah. That's good to know. Probably a lot of you have got no idea uh, what we're talking about. Stressed Eric, uh, flat Eric. I, there is a stressed Eric there, isn't there? Uh, so happy to see that Craig is feeling better, says uh, Clarice. I'm sure that's a character, cartoon character. Uh, Hannah just asking, uh, John in the house, is he coming on? Uh, we'll wait and see, maybe. When he's at his tea, he's still eating out there with Jake. Um, and uh, Patricia's just saying, uh, nice that you're all eating donuts. I wonder how UK donuts compare to the US ones. Uh, not quite sure, and ne never having had a US donut. I bet the US donuts are better than the ones that we have here in the UK, uh, potentially. But as I say, I don't really eat donuts anyway, so I don't, I don't really know. Uh, Johnny, have you ever had US donuts, Johnny? And what are better, UK or US? US, yeah, I knew it. I knew Everything's it. better in the US. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Apart from crafting TV presenters and demonstrators. Maybe. Uh, right, what are we going to look at? Are we going to have a look at this box? Are we going <laughs> to... <we gonna laughs> <we gonna laughs> <laughs> 
you're going to do yeah, that? Yeah, we're going <laughs> to have a look at this one. <laughs> so what I've done, although I said it will go through your Gemini Junior MIDI, which it will do, yep. what we're going to do here, we will actually need the large Gemini. Yep. So I've swapped over. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in our two folders here. So I'm going to go in for the swirly one, and then we're also going to go in with the border one that's got the die yep. at the edge. So I've brought in one of the 5 by 7 card blanks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to pop them side by side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them by using some low tack tape. Yep. And this is because I want to use both of them. But if I was to emboss one of them first and then go to run it through a second time with the other one, I'm going to squash part of the embossing that I've already done. Oh, uh, okay. So therefore, this is going to be a nice way to, uh, to show you what you can do. And then what I'm going to do as well, for the time being, on this side, I'm going to pop, I, you can be using your low tack tape, I'm just using this inexpensive stencil tape because I've got it to the side. Or you can simply cover it with some paper. It is to just eliminate that left hand side for now. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go on and then I'm going to ink all of this side here. So I'm inking on the purple side. So we're going to add all of that in to making sure that we get a really, really good coverage. Make sure we get that cover. So that's water reactive and it's parakeet that I'm using. So we can come in now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in now with my card blank. So what I'm going to do as well, so I'm going to come up towards as close to this die edge as I can. Okay. And I'm going to go right to the fold of the embossing folder. So I'm going to go in and then I want to try and get it in the right place the first time so that I'm not going to knock any of the inking. And then this is where I need my large Gemini because obviously we're now going to be covering seven inches, which isn't going to fit within the junior. So we're then going to layer it up with our two cutting plates. Because this one is a regular embossing folder, this one is a cutting emboss folder, but they still just need the same platform combination, which is two cutting plates. Hence why I can do, do both of them at the same time. So I can feed this one through. Lots of people like your tip of taping them together, saying that they never thought of doing that. It's just that it's a nice way that if you do want to use two folders together, of course, uh, as I said a moment ago, what would happen, emboss one of the folders, come back and do the other one, and then what happens is you go and squash most of what you've done. So by taping them together, securing them together, it means that you're going to get a lovely emboss. So this side is the deboss. So if I flip this one round, so you'll be able to see, I've got the letterpress technique on this side, and then what I can do is I can then fold this one over. So the only thing you need to watch for is by running it through, you're actually going to compress the score line that's uh, already okay. there. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in and score back at the seven inch mark. So let's fold that one in there. And then what we need to do is come in with our little scissors. And then I'm going to finish this one off here at the side. So I'm going to snip there. And then along the spine, I'm going to snip into here and remove that one. So then what I can do is I can now go in with our Oasis Blue. Okay. Water reactive once again. And now this time, I'm going to do a different technique with the ink pads. And instead of doing a letterpress technique, I'm going to go on flat with my Oasis Blue and I'm going to lightly add the colour to the top. Don't worry about this centre part here because we're actually going to cover that in a moment. So we're going to layer up our colours here. So not only is it a good way to show how you can use two embossing folders together, it's also a good way to show how you can do two different inking techniques mm -hmm. within the one project. So we're going to go in to here. So then what I can do so if I fold that back on itself again, you'd be more uh, neat and careful than I am with the ink. But what I would also do, using my trimmer or your guillotine, I'm just going to freehand with my scissors 
Alternatively, you can use your craft knife. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the way up to the top. So then that's going to give me a nice detailed edge, but you're not seeing that sharpness layer of the card underneath. You're just seeing straight through to, well, nothing basically, mm. which you want. So let's give that an extra bit of a burnish here. Then what I've done is using one of the pattern papers, I've already ran it through the Xyron or what left of the Xyron that I've got. And then I'm going to finish this line off there. So if I finish that one off, and then what did I do with my little scissors here that are? We're going to snip that one off and snip that one off. Then what I can do is I've done a few mats and layers already using our stitched edge nesting dies. So I've used the white, a bit of pattern, and then on this one, what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to stamp out one of these sentiments. Let's go for it. You deserve a very special day. Thank and then you. we can assemble this one together. Thank You're welcome. You. Thank you. Um, apparently, lo lots of you now craving donuts after our donut chat. Go and get a donut. Go and have a donut. Can you order donuts here, like on delivery? I don't know. If you know. did like a just eat thing and got to do donuts, you, you probably could, could you? There you go. Go, go and treat yourself. It's a, no, it's not a Friday at all, is it? What day is it? Tuesday. Tu treat yourself Tuesday. We just come up with it. There you go. Treat yourself to a donut. Um, do we get Dunkin' Donuts here in the UK? <laughs> oh, we do. Do we really, Johnny? Johnny's turning out to be some sort of aficionado in, uh, in, <laughs> in donuts. He's a <laughs> That's he's what I'm thinking of, Charlotte. Yeah, he's always got Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts. He's, uh, he's Crafters TV's uh, take on Homer Simpson with all his donuts. Right. Uh, donuts. Mm, donuts. Come That's, on, Mike. <laughs> that was so good. Do that again. Wait, what one? Homer. Come on, Mike. Mike. Mm, donuts. <laughs> Come on. That is brilliant. Yeah, well, it's just a, another terrible impression. Scrap the demos. Let's just sit and watch you. <laughs> Let's do impressions of Homer Simpson. Um, what? <laughs> I can't believe I've never done that one for you guys. Well, there you go. Move over, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on, do it. Um, never thought of taping two folders together, says Julie. Yes, a really cool tip that we just had uh, a few moments ago. And uh, Tony Ziegles on Facebook just saying, loving your demos Craig. Well, I thank you very much. All. I what? appreciate that. Thank you what? Thank you very much. All. Thank you very much. That's what my granddad used to say. Thank oh. you very much. All. Say thank you very much. Say thank you very much. All. Ah, yeah. There you go. I've never heard you say that before. Mm. There we go. Mm. Things we learn about each other. Hey. The things we learn. See, it happens when we go in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Pop that one on there. So what I've done as well is because it's water reactive and it'll still stay a little bit wet for a little bit longer, I've gone in with my tacky glue. Yeah. And then let's go in with some of our glue gel. Chunky glue. Chunky glue to pop on our embellishment here. So I'm going to pop it down there. And then I've got a couple of gems where I can use these ones to finish off just at the side of the sentiment. Let's get my pokey tool. And then what I'm going to do, as I always do as well, I'm going to put a tiny, tiny, I really do need to get my small applicator, don't I? Where am I? Here we go. Let's get this one here. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny little bit of glue there and then there. Although the gem is self-adhesive, it's going to enable it to stay in place so let's have a fight with the peril pop that one on let's pop that one on here and then there we go got a bit of a different style but it's a good way to show how you can use your two embossing folders together even though one's embossed and one's a cut and emboss use two together do letterpress technique and do a blending of ink over the top that's pretty special, isn't it? And again, it shows you, actually, you know, we always say with these, um, these craft kits that you'll make 24 cards. Just goes to show that you'll make plenty more than that as well. I love it. If you want to have a bit of a uh, play around with your embossing folders, there's a few little hints and tips for you right there. Um, and again, you've got so much included within this collection. Uh, 220 individual elements. 
You'll grab it as a gift for somebody. You'll grab it because you want to dip your toe in the water when it comes to embossing folders. And you'll grab it because if you've collected all of the previous 38 craft kits, you'll want to make sure that you've got your hands on box number 39. Uh, 24.99 individually. Uh, platinum price is 19.99. And of course, 50 bonus points as well if you want to add that into your basket today. Uh, delayed dispatch on that one from the 16th, but not long to wait. We're already, where are we? Third of August already, aren't we? So it will be with you before you know it. Now, the next thing I want to show you on launch party, this is a little bit cheeky, and one of those where E and me might get into a little bit of hot water um, because we're not officially supposed to be actually kind of really uh, showing you. However, we thought, seeing as this is um, coming up tomorrow, officially, three o'clock with Joe and Jan, we would let you get in a little bit earlier, unofficially, uh, so that you can grab the deal before it goes really uh, crazy tomorrow. Brand new, it's the Christmas Creator Card Scene Edible Die Collection. Eight elements in total. It's available for you right now, not officially launching until tomorrow, uh, but you can grab it for £54.39 or $63.96. And the reason that you might jump in and grab this tonight is because, well, A, it's amazing, and B, you can be one of the very first to get your hands on these. I love these. Uh, these dies, I always think, are kind of like your sort of uh, die brids, really, because they're the creator card. So, you, you know, one pass through, wherever you decide to position these, you've got yourself a creator card, but then you've also got your edibles with these as well. They can do so much for you, and if you love your Christmas card making, these, again, are absolutely uh, dies that you need within your collection. So within this brand new collection, you have got your traditional Christmas tree. And look again, wherever you set that on your cards, you're gonna get all of that beautiful detailing of your Christmas tree with all of the decorations, snowflakes and all uh, within that die. Again, these are one pass wonders. Really, really easy card making but the finished project you get looks like you spent hours over it. This one here is that gorgeous reindeer forest, and it looks like little um, Rudolph does this reindeer, because he's got a little, well, it's not red here, it's white, but the, his nose is a little bit more pronounced, so it's almost like he's got his little red nose there, uh, Rudolph in the forest, but how cute is that? Uh, that is the second of the two dies within this collection. Next up, you've got Mary and Joseph, so again, we're kind of covering off loads of different Christmas themes. Again, look at the detail within that die. Mary and Joseph there with the star, with the donkey, the palm trees um, in that manger. I just think it is absolutely amazing. And again, no trouble for you to get all of that detail. Simply one pass through. Uh, next up here is this gorgeous elegant angel again if he's talking about detailing there look at the detail within her wings look at the detail uh, within her robe there as well there is so much to love about this collection then you're also going to get this way up uh, Bethlehem Again, loads of detail in there. And can you see for yourself how these are just going to be literally pass through once, beautiful card, um, however you want to use these, whether you want to use these on like your, um, your box lids as well. Super, super versatile in that regard. Next up, you've got your snowmen. Now, come on, seriously, if you loved the um, watercolor Christmas that we brought you earlier on, you're definitely gonna wanna add this one in. You've got two cheeky snowmen this time around. Again, plenty of detail uh, within that particular die. And I think then, yes, we are back to um, our Christmas tree. £54.39 or $63.96 is your platinum price. As I've said, being a little bit naughty in the fact that they're not officially launching until tomorrow. However, you can get your hands on these right now. And again, if you're quite new to this and if you're looking at those and thinking, well, it looks ever so complicated to be able to create those die cuts. It looks ever so complicated to put those together. We'll prove that it's not because uh, Craig is going to have a look at these with you now. He has got his Gemini MIDI at the ready. Uh, and I just think it's a question of which one of the um, Create a card scene edibles he is going to be having a look at first. Um, what you're fancying over there, mister? Which one do you think you're going to be using? So we're going to go for the Bethlehem. Okay. So with these being the scene and the edibles, we're all about that edible aspect. But we thought what I'm going to do is we can leave, thought, we'll be cheeky again. We're yeah. already being really cheeky. We are, you are. We thought we can 
So they, the concept met with Jan and Joe tomorrow. Yeah. And they thought, what we can do is we'll do something a little bit different. So when you watch Jan tomorrow and see the incredible things that she does, then you'll also be able to think, oh, but Craig also done such and such. So for that, I thought, well, let's show you how you can use the MIDI with it as well. Good idea. No problem at all. So what we're going to do is I've got a piece of my white smooth stamping card, eight inches by five and three quarters. And what I'm away to do, just very care quickly, sorry, I'm going to take that ink off because the last thing I want is to get ink splodged He's all over. He's been ever so clean. This, was, this is what it was like in his car earlier on after I'd been in it for like two minutes. The vacuum cleaner came out, you got the spray and the polish, wiping it all down. Yeah. And that was just your shoes. That was just my shoes. <laughs> so what I've done is uh, eight inches I can't even remember what I said there. Eight inches by five and three quarters. And then what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to score at one inch and then at two inch. And then what I'm going to do, either score at six inch and seven inch, because uh -huh. then that will give us our one inch or two inch. And at the other side, that will also give us our one inch and two inch. So you can do it that way, or another simpler way, score at one inch, score at two inch, turn it around, do one inch and two inch, symmetrically each side, whatever way that you feel easier doing. So what I'm then going to do with this one is let's do a mountain fold and then a valley fold. So that is then going to give us this shape by having a look from up above. So that's the sort of shape that we're going for. Now this next bit that I've already done with my sparkle pens and that, so what I've already done, so if I bring in these panels here and I'll go through the uh, measurements of these ones and also the ink that I've used. Pretty. So we've gone in for that one. And then when it comes to, that's another base, I don't need that one. So what I've done is I've gone in with my water reactive ink pads. So I've gone in from our honey pot, I've gone in with our parakeet and also our midnight blue when it comes to these ones here. So this is then what I've gone in. I've gone in inked and then what I've done, some might say it's a little bit of a waste, but to get this splattered effect, instead of just going in with water, what I'd done is I'd I had taken my little sparkle pots, so it's the clear sparkle overlay, but it's in the little pots. Mm -hmm. So I put a little bit on my glass mat, watered it down lightly with my water brush, and then splattered that on. Then what I'd done is kitchen roll, took away that remaining ink. Now, although it takes away some of the sparkle, it still leaves you with that full bleach effect with bits of sparkle just shining through. So it is a good uh, technique or it is a good way of using your little sparkle pots as well. Yeah. So I've done four of these at three quarters of an inch by five and a half. So three quarters of an inch by five and a half. So that's four of them. And then my centre panel here is three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So what we can then do is they're going to go into each of these panels here. So if I set that one up to here for now, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my die. Now, what did I do with my die? I had it a minute ago. Here we go. We're going to go in town of Bethlehem here. So we're going to go in with the town of Bethlehem. This one's not even opened yet, this one. So what we can do is let's dive straight in. And then with this one, you'll be able to see as well how uh -huh. it looks on the die side. So let's take these ones off there. So if I come in with this one, what you can see is you've got the design of Bethlehem. So you've got your outside cutting edge, you've got the detail cutting edge. However, within this bottom bit, it stays in place. That actually stays in place. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to use a piece of cardstock that is this size. So for anyone that wants to know, it is six inches by four inches. So six inches by four inches. So let's bring in my cardstock. So I'm going to go in with another bit of white cardstock. And then what we can do is, that, oh, look at that. It's just going to fit no more. 
what I can do is I can cut that down to six by four. Just to say as well, for those uh, eagle-eyed viewers who uh, saw that it says eight elements on the screen, uh, you always truly forgot to mention that you do get a uh, dye brush and um, a, uh, a foam with it as well. So that, that is your seventh and eighth item uh, to make up your eight elements. And I think that's a quite a handy little tool to get with this particular collection as well, because just it makes it easy to remove all of those uh, little die cuts uh, if they don't pop out. So there you go, that is item seven and eight to make up your full collection. It is really good that you get all these little extras. But what we do, when it comes to these extras, they've got a purpose. We're not just throwing them in for the sake of them. No. You can see here, you're going to get a lot of detail. So therefore, we've put that dye brush and the foam in as well. That's going to help you take all these bits out. So I've popped it onto my cardstock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this one through. So as I say, we're doing it through the midi we'd go through your junior or your larger machines and then what you'll be able to see so if I lift this one up we've got credible die cut even although it's from a MIDI a handheld same amount of power still going to go into all of those details here so what we can then do is let's go in with my die brush and also my tool okay and then this is where it comes in and works an absolute treat because we can then go in with all of these bits and then what it starts to do is it takes out all of the bits that you don't need or want. So we're going to go in. So I do the initial rub of the back of the die to start with and then what I'll do is I'll come along after, let's just tear that bit off and then I'll come in afterwards going in. And don't worry, this won't ruin your cardstock, it won't scratch your cardstock you'll not have any issues. It's just going to give you a helping hand when it comes to taking all the Still marvel out. at the detail that we get into our um, dice. It's incredible, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, just in one pass. It, when, just when you think that you can't get any more detailed, yeah. any more intricate. And the fact is, you can still get that same result even if you go through the MIDI. Yeah. You know, and it's key to point out that the MIDI's got the same amount of pressure as the Junior. It's just that it's a hand cranked. But still, sometimes, sometimes your, your brain or your mind just thinks, nah, you need a lot of power. You need uh, an electric machine yeah. to do that. But it goes to show that you don't. You do not need an electric one. And lots of you, by the way, just already saying, I know we're saying that we're showing you a sneaky peek here, but loads of you saying, already got these. Uh, ordered, ordered the snowman in the tree this morning. Uh, launch order, says Barbara. Uh, found the snowman and the reindeer. Slipped off the shelf, uh, slipped off the shelf into my basket, says uh, Deborah Barnforth. Hello, Deborah. Um, the dies are lovely. Ordered these this morning, says Jean. Um, I love CC's creator cards. Uh, I can't resist the edibles, says Mish nope. Mary. Uh, I've already ordered the Christmas tree and the snowman. Um, what a pretty background, Craig, says Pamela. And uh, um, uh, sorry, so just saying, Craig, you are amazing with your techniques. Uh, thank you. Um, Patricia just saying, I love also being able to create our own backgrounds in the colours we need uh, with our water reactives as well. Uh, lots going on then as uh, far as this show is concerned. £54.39 and pence or 63 uh, 96 is the uh, deal on this one. Just whilst Craig is uh, showing you uh, the, uh, the demo there, just finishing up, just quickly recap, because as I said, a few of you are, th I think, still saying, hang on a minute, what well, seven and eight here? Six elements that you're going to get. Uh, the seven and eight is your dye brush and your foam as well. But don't forget, you're going to get six of these beautiful scene edibles in there. So you've got that gorgeous Christmas tree, gorgeous. You can see how you've got that creator card effect that spills out uh, into the edge of your card as well. So the glorious Christmas tree. Um, there's, I want to call that one Rudolph. It's reindeer forest, but it looks like Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. And again, what you can see here is that we've got all different types of Christmas covered off from your more religious cards, um, you know, through to your sort of more vintage Christmas, to your more sort of fun time Christmas as well. Um, again, everything is sorted. This is the one that Craig is working with right now, Bethlehem. And I think my favourite, and I think it's simply because we've been focusing on snowmen so much today, um, is our two snowmen there who I think are just the absolute 
cutest. All six of those, uh, plus your die brush and tool, uh, your die brush and foam, I should say, uh, £54.39 or $63.96 if you're platinum. Uh, and these do not officially launch until tomorrow. So you can kind of get in uh, on the, uh, the early launch on these to make sure that then when the show comes around tomorrow with Jan and Joe, three o'clock here in the UK, 10 o'clock East Coast, uh, you've got everything and you can sit back and relax and enjoy the demos. Have you managed to poke all of those bits and pieces out? Got them. Perfect timing. There we go. So what I then do is I'm going to go in with my sparkle pen. Yeah. Once again, this is just the clear sparkle overlay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in selected bits and then I'm going to colour them. Yeah. So I'm not going to do loads for the, the, the time that we've got, but you can really go to town and make it sparkly if you want. And then what I'm going to do is let's go in with a tiny little bit of our tacky glue into the top there. I've got a tiny little gem. So I'm going to do that one gem in the middle of the star. It's really going to finish it off just nicely. And then on the back, what I'm going to do, we've got a straight tape runner. Yep, here we do. I've got this teal ribbon, fine, fine ribbon that I've got here. And then what I'm going to do is let's wrap it around one edge. And then we're going to wrap it around the other edge here. So I'm going to stamp this one out. And then there we go. So this is now our scene coming to fruition that we can see right here. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's brilliant. Isn't that awesome? As soon as you pop it on the black cardstock, yeah. It makes a difference, doesn't mm. it? So then all that we need to do now is bring in all these bits here. And then we're going to add our adhesive. So we're going to go in. So also to say, with going round the cardstock with those coloured inks, what I've also done as well is I've gone round the edge with a little bit of our blending tool and black water reactive ink. Can you see how we've got that slightly darker shade that yeah, goes yeah. all the way round? So that's our black water reactive. So I've gone round the edges with that one. And then with this one, what I'm going to do is do these ones in each of the column. Make sure I've got a nice little layer all the way round. And then we're following on all the way along, carrying on, having that yellow towards the bottom. And it's going to be this really a nice but a relaxing sky night full of the stars. And then what will happen is when we You're going to break into song then oh, for sorry, a second. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> a nice relaxing sky night full of the stars. <laughs> oh, trust me, you don't want to hear me sing. The little bits that I do every now and again, that's more than enough. <laughs> you were singing a bit of Frozen this morning, weren't you? Yeah. Do, do you want to build, build a snowman? snowman? <laughs> yeah, what, what was that I was singing Build or Make? Build it, no, it was Build, build, snowman, build, build wasn't yeah. it? If you want to do here, uh, Craig, by the way, full throttle singing the way, you want to check out the Facebook Live that we did uh, earlier on. What were you singing earlier? Oh, say a little prayer. Oh, yeah, I don't know why that popped in. No, I don't head. know why that popped in, yeah, but I joined in with you. You did. And of course, we sang the. Uh, car edition of the car edition of that one that we don't mention because if we do we have to sing it yeah but we don't sing it unless i actually use it yeah we no don't say i'm it not going to say it. it charlotte no that thick foam that's on a reel no oh on a reel on a Whoa, reel you were close there oh you thought i was going to go for it <laughs> what was it we were singing earlier on that johnny came up with oh gnome in a dome no man in a dome. No man a dome. <laughs> and then there we go. That, that my friend, that. is truly brill. But actually, again, very followable from my point of view. It's, it's a quite, yep. a quite a simple card to do. Yep. And the same with this backdrop here. If you didn't want to get inky, what about bringing in some of your pattern papers? You might have some left over from Nativity. There's one in the staycation. You know, it's got that nightfall. Oh, yeah. From the, it's got the navy blue towards the top. Uh, there's that one. So start to incorporate your pattern papers or, of course, get inky. I've used Water Reactive. You could use your sparkle pens, your aqua pens if you want. But you don't really need to do much at all. That was a four by six piece of cardstock, basically the same size of the die, and going to be using it in that way. And it does fold relatively flat anyway, give or take a couple of millimetres or so. And then that is your card. Uh, that is fantastic. Um, just, just, uh, oh, John's just bringing in Thank coffee. You, John. 
Thank you. Just, there we go. Just, Thank just you. give us a quick, John, whilst you're there, just give us a quick, because the few people know that you're here, so can you just do it now, so that, sorry, that people can just see. There he is. Hello, peekaboo. There you go. Uh, <laughs> makes me laugh so much. Uh, right. Uh, loads of you loving this collection, loving that demo as well. Um, what an incredible amount of detail, says Laura O'Donnell on YouTube. Lots of you chatting about your favourites within that collection as well. The snowman is my favourite, says Vicky Cook. Snowman's very cute. Uh, the scene was the first one to catch my eye, says Mary Pat 1000. The scene that we just used. Uh, thanks for demoing this one. And ooh says Anne, card of the show, where we'll have to see whether it will be uh, the card of the show or even card of the day, 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 card of the day. day. Let's give you uh, time to check out, <laughs> card of the day, card of the day, let's give you time to check out your baskets right now, card of the day, um, and we'll come back with some more demos in just a few moments time, card of the day. Card of the day. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Oh, there's a good one. Sorry, just um, uh, uh, Rachel just mentioned the card of the day to the theme of the Adams Family theme tune. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Card of the day. 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 We're crafty and we're... Crafters companion. Crafter the card of the day. Dun, dun. No, it doesn't work. I have to get to the end there. It's going well to that point, isn't it? Um, now, uh, <laughs> back, back to the crafting matters. Earlier on, I was one quarter of possibly one of the busiest shows uh, I think we've done in a long, long time here on Crafters TV. It was the launch of Sarah's Signature Collection. And do you know what? Um, I did the launch of the um, Twas the Night Before Christmas collection as well. I thought, well, that was busy. There's no way uh, we're going to launch a collection which was as busy as that. This watercolour Christmas complete collection was even busier. Um, you guys absolutely loved it. And, and, and for the reason that uh, you all love Sarah's signature collections, you love the Twas the Night Before Christmas collection, but this one is totally different to that. And I think if budget allowed with this, 
you were uh, having sort of, but it was the night before Christmas, something which was uh, more traditional, more of a cosy Christmas, and then with this, something a little bit different, more of a, we're chatting about this as being a bit more like um, Scandi art, I suppose, with this particular collection, but more contemporary colours. And what you got with this, and what you do still get with this, is a massive bundle of uh, paper, of cardstock, of vellum, of acetate, of dyes, of stamps, of embossing folders. Um, new pens in here as well, which are exclusive to this set, but brand new colours. You've got your chunky glitter in here as well. Domes in here too, to be able to create your baubles, your ornaments and your shaker cards. You've got your faux snow in there as well. Um, just making this one of the biggest and most versatile collections that we've done. So, uh, Patricia just saying, look at the size of that collection. I know. We wanted to bring this back to you in this show for those of you that missed it. However, of this collection, 70% of the stock has already gone. So, if you missed it and you want to grab it, shall I quickly whiz through the boards for you here so you can see everything that you are going to get? You've got your uh, Statement Snowflake. Now, this you saw Craig use a little bit earlier on. Um, blue. Uh, it's blue. It's blue. Blue? Colored blue. Yeah. Just giving you a helping hand. Oh. What are you like? It's blue. Uh, but <laughs> somebody's feeling better, aren't they, eh? Uh, <laughs> which is great. Like, this is one of my favorite cards that we had, this little slalom card. Great for adding uh, to the edge of cards. Great for adding to your acetate as well. But if you cut it twice, you can make your own statement snowflake. So if you want to be able to make your own little Christmas decorations, um, stick them to your windows as well. Absolutely brilliant. These are not in any sort of order, so I'll do them as I pick them up. You've also got in there 23 of your 3D die cut toppers, which are fab. Then you've got your brush sentiments, allowing you to create your own Christmassy sentiments. So you've got things like Merry Christmas, let it snow, winter wishes, happy Christmas, seasons greetings and more. Then we've got stamps. So your joyful wishes are these gorgeous woodland animals. We love that banner as well there. So if you want to add your own little sentiment onto that one, you can do. Then we've got your winter wonderland, which gives you your first little sneaky peek of that really lovely snowman. Um, then you've got the hedgehog and the little mouse and the sleigh in there too. Uh, the magical Christmas brings you more of the deer. You've got a little fox in there as well, the Christmas tree. Then you've got your build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah. Good. Uh, because you've got this stamp and die set in there that you can do that, build up your own little snowman, maybe make your own little um, a snowman bunting for Christmas, I don't know. Then, snowflake dimensional, seven different snowflake dies in there. We were chatting about this earlier on, there's never the same snowflake twice. You've got the ability to create lots of different ones in there as well. You've got your let it snow sentiment uh, with your let it snow stamps, that's also included. On top of that, you've got your quirky Christmas trees, Absolutely love these. Sorry, used these in a demo earlier on with a snow globe. Embossing folders. You've got three lots of these. Those elegant borders, um, which are going to be great to use with your mini if you've got that as you'll get it. Got it good deal this week. You've then got your snowflake edges included. Uh, then you've got your delicate snowfall uh, embossing folder too, which is stunning. And then comes your elegant snow globe. So this has proved a really, really big hit. The ability for you to be able to create your own snow globe cards, uh, the ability for you to be able to create your own um, Christmas ornaments and baubles. So much versatility with that as well. These domes, you get 20 of those within the bundle. That's included. Uh, the snow and the uh, chunky glitter you get as well. You get 50 grams of your full snow, full show. And you also get uh, your chunky glitter included in there too. But that, friends, is not all. Because you are also going to get... Uh, I tell you... Uh, well, um, I've got so much here. I'll do it in here. Sorry. Be decisive, Ben. Um, you got your 24 piece luxury pearl card set. Okay, so you've got four beautiful colours in here with that glorious pearlescent shine, the glorious red and your navy blue. You've got your sort of um, duck, egg, duck egg sort of, um, I don't know, baby blue in there as well that gorgeous grey. So you've got uh, all those colours in your cardstock. Then we come on to your patterned paper, which is amazing. 36 sheets. 
you've got your four sheets of um, uh, die cuts in the back there which you can just simply pop out use to create your little scenes the snowman and the fox and the rabbit and the deer are in there then again as we go through you've got even more toppers in there which you can simply just cut out you've got your borders with your sentiments on there too so you look through there and think to yourself about all of the versatility with that and then we come on to the beautiful papers themselves double a size these as we said the reason why you'll get the collection and get more of the paper pads uh, is so that you can basically get the very best out of this because that's the only downside I think there's so many lovely papers in here two of each this time as opposed to the three um, you'll just be thinking oh I really like this side but then I want more of that one so get another of the um, uh, the, uh, the paper pads so that you've got enough to be playing with beautiful detailing on there the accent falling on there too is absolutely stunning some lovely patterns and all of those characters running through that paper pad then on top of that you've got your six by six which is uh, exactly the same as far as the designs are concerned it is just you know mini version and then last but by no means least You've got your acetate and your uh, vellum as well. So 12 sheets of your vellum, 12 sheets of your acetate as well. And it's a mixture um, of your printed snowflakes, your bigger snowflakes and your smaller snowflakes. But then you can also see uh, that you've got your gorgeous foiling included on there as well. What I will just say, which producer Johnny has just told me in my ear, and it has literally just happened, if you want the domes, They've sold out on their own. Uh, you can only get them available in the collection. Uh, the acetate, by the way, varies in thickness. We've even got some construction acetate included in this collection too. I think that is everything. Um, £131.99 platinum, $169.56 if you're shopping with us in the US. Uh, let's have a look at this with Craig. As I said, we didn't kind of plan to bring this to you, but because it was so busy earlier on, we thought we'd bring it back for those of you who've perhaps been out, not managed to see it yet. So where are you going to start with this? I suppose that's the trouble. There's so much. I mean, wh where do you start? I know, I know. So I think I've got a little bit uh, together. So what we can do is let's start with some stamping. So we're going to use our tri-colours and we're going to use our stamping platform and we're going to use our waterproof because we're going to use our tri-colours. So let's go in with the magical Christmas set. And we're going to create our own little bit of a scene. So what I'm going to do, let's bring this one in. So watercolour card, five by three and three quarter inches. So we've got that one. Johnny, have we still got the watercolour card in stock? We do. Wow. That price when you showed it earlier on, Ben, was phenomenal. Yeah, buy two, get one free, wouldn't it? Buy two, get one free. Aye. Aye. I think it was a platinum, it was about six, six ninety eight, I want to say, something like that. For three, For three packs of watercolour cards. How many sheets is that then? For 45 sheets, isn't it? 45 for the price of 30. And the thing is, although, as I, as I said a couple of times, yes, it's called watercolour Christmas. You can be colouring by your alcohol markers if you want. But if you are going to go down that watercolour look, I would highly, highly recommend popping more of the watercolour cardstock in your basket because uh, you, it's a definite must for this collection. Um, Lynn, and Lynn makes me laugh. I'm sure, Lynn, it was you that were saying earlier on that you loved this, uh, loved this collection, but you um, weren't going to kind of stretch to it today. I'm sure it was you, Lynn. You'll correct me if I'm wrong. And you just said, I love the watercolour collection. I was very naughty and gave in and ordered the complete collection, along with the wobblers that are coming too. Wobblers, you say? Uh, we've got a little sneaky peek preview of those a little bit later on. Uh, the snowmen are what got me, and the snow globe, says Sarah's Creations. Yet yeah, they are now only available in the bundle, as I've said. We warned you earlier on that those would go. Um, and they have individually. Uh, the collection's so pretty, says Penguins88888 eight, 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 eight on YouTube. Uh, and Karen, uh, looks like you've ordered yours because you say, I can't wait till I get my watercolour collection. And Eleanor on Facebook says, is Sarah going to bring some of those domes back in again? I think the chat was from memory that she's going to try and get them, uh, but there's kind of like no guarantees. That they're a really useful kind of crafty tool to have all year round because we were chatting again about that yeah. they're perfect for snow globes, but they're perfect for all sorts of projects, those domes, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And, you know, I know, OK, they're out of stock at the moment, but I know Sarah's going to work hard to get them back in. Mm. When we do get them back in, once again, I do suggest if there's anything, like, I'm going to... Because I missed out on them as well, because I went to pick my car up. If I hadn't have done that, I would have managed to get some. So I'm going to rely on when they come back in stock, because 
Although they're domes, as Ben says, you use them any time of the year, which there will be, technically it comes under a Christmas range. Yeah. So we're not going to have them in stock in the springtime or the summertime because it's part of watercolour Christmas. So as soon as they come in stock, do what I'm going to do, stocking up on the domes as well as some of the additional. I've already stocked up on the glitter. Is that still in stock, chunky glitter? Yep. Well, I've, I've managed to stock up then. That's fine. Because it is, it's going to be a, a must, that's for sure. Because I was thinking of, uh, you know, if you do a card, a uh, new baby themed, oh, yeah. pink or blue or, you know, yellows, and then using the dome and the chunky glitter, lots of different ways and lots of different things that you can create. I like the that. idea of using them as, um, like, little Christmas ornaments as well. I exactly, love, yeah. love, love, love that idea. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed we'll get more in, but you can still get them as part of the bundle. So if you haven't already... Uh, then please do make sure that you uh, grab this bundle because over 70% of the stock is now gone yeah. uh, and is only going to get uh, busier and busier. Here just, we go. Just to say, well, you're saying that. Yeah. What about making ornaments together? Well, that's what I mean. Is that, oh, sorry, is that yeah. what you're meaning? Actually? Yeah. Yeah, because you could do whatever it is you want. Maybe you've got some resin charms or maybe you want to make your own design. Mm. You would then attach that with your red liner tape. You already get a circle nesting die that's going to fit perfectly. So all you need to do is bring in another one of your nesting dies that you've got at home. Yeah. Could be a plain edge circle. It could be a stitched edge circle. It doesn't really matter the amount of circle nesting dies that are out there. And you can then cut it with the width of whatever you want it to be. That's going to cover the workings, and then you will have what could be many different things. Yeah, someone actually said earlier on it'd be quite nice to be able to um, use those. Like if you've got um, <gasps> pictures of the kids or the grandkids with Father Christmas, put the photos in there and add them as little baubles to your tree. Why did you just go? Oh, oh, oh. Do you know what? I'm th I wouldn't know. I, I can't think offhand how to cover the pack. But what about what about battery-operated lights? So the little oh. worm lights, battery operated, are in there. Yeah. Now, obviously, you would have the, have the strand just coming out. The actual battery pack, you need to work around how you would disguise that. Yeah, but if you, had it on the, it. if you had it on the tree, you could just... Do it on the tree. You could just... That's, yeah, just put the battery bit in the back of the, the tree. Back of the tree, yeah. yeah. That's a good idea, yeah. I like that, really good ideas. Um, yeah, I mean, they're so super versatile. That's what I was meaning, you know, when I said about using them as little Got decorations. So you could fill them, well, fill them with whatever you wanted. You know, you can. Uh, you know, pop in your own little pictures as well. It makes me laugh because when I was thinking about that um, years ago, I can't remember who gave it uh, to me as like a present. There's a bauble that comes out every year with a picture of my face on. Um, and my daughter takes great delight in hanging it on the tree at the front. And every year, my wife comes around and takes it off the front of the tree and hides it around the back. Really? Yeah. How, how awful is that? Well, see, no, I, I'd be like that. What, if you had a, a, a bauble with my face on it? Well, yeah, but also, now I know many, many of you at oh, home... Oh, you're a Christmas tree snob, aren't yes. you? Yes. You're yeah. a Christmas tree snob. Go on, finish your sentence. Some of you at home are going to gasp. Some of you, I'm pretty sure, will agree with me. Yeah. If... There has been a couple of years when I've decorated my tree yeah. and uh, there's been a, a little one within my family that's decorated the tree with me. Yeah. And I've done that scene out of, Mon out of Friends with Monica where it turns it round. So the side that's been decorated by, when they say the side, basically the bottom of the tree is decorated with a child. I don't want anyone to see that. I want to see what I've done. I've taken a lot of time. You see, the trick is, and Johnny's just said in my ear what happens in our household, although not so much now, actually, because the kids are of an age where they can kind of be a little bit more clever with their aesthetics. But when they were a little bit younger and used to help with the decorations, yes, we used to let them decorate the tree. And then, of course, when they went to bed, the Christmas tree fairy would come along and redecorate the tree. Uh, so when they came down in the morning, they're like, oh, hang on a minute, what's happened here? Oh, the Christmas tree fairy just thought she'd come and sort of, you know, decorate it a little bit. Um, but I don't really, uh, I mean, I, I'm there, but I'm not really allowed to hang too much stuff up. The only reason that they ever let me get involved with the Christmas tree decorating is that I'm the only one tall enough to put the star on the top of the tree. So that's my job. Yeah, I'd, to be honest with you, I'd go to the extreme of saying that would be in my uh, wedding vows. What? Is that I have to decorate the tree each year. <laughs> Write your own vows and that would yeah. be there. <laughs> That'll be it, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. What? Oh, I want to do that as well, John. What, you want, a wrestling yeah. theme for your wedding? Well... Yeah. You're going to get married inside the squared circle? Or more so, I would just like to come down the aisle in the church by 
you know, like doing a Batista or The Rock or something like that. Stone Cold Steve Austin throwing tins of beer and stuff like that. I mean, that would be, if that happened, I mean, I'm there, mate. I'm, I'm all over that. Hey, that, you'd, you'd be there anyway. Oh, good, good news. You and Johnny would be there as well. Good Charlotte, news. Charlotte, you'd be there. You st you'd have to have your stag do as um, wrestler, wrestlers as well, wouldn't you? I'd, yeah, I'd be up for that. Uh, you mean definitely? Definitely be up for that. I had, um, I think how many years ago now, I think it was a 80s or 90s night I went to, I had an awesome Hulk Hogan costume a few Did years you? ago. Like the, you know, the traditional Hogan with the red and yellow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, Oh yes, and our friend uh, yeah Dan Bancroft, who a few of you will know, um, yeah did a, a pretty decent um, Ultimate Warrior as well uh, a few years back. It's funny, isn't it? How many of us within uh, the crafty world seem to love our uh, our wrestling as I well? Know. It's not something that I think ever would traditionally sort of marry up, really, but um, it seems to be a bit of a theme, particularly between I'll give, us. Boys. I'll give you a laugh. I yeah. don't think I, I told you this, Ben. Wait, you see, Johnny, will laugh because you'll know where I'm away to go with this here. Um, so you would lots of girls, lots of girls watch wrestling. Lots of women watch wrestling. Now, obviously, Johnny watches the wrestling with uh, their son Leo. So, and and I know. Johnny's wife, uh, Gemma, I know her quite well. You would think that it's going to be me and Johnny messaging each other on Instagram about the wrestling. Yeah. No, I put a, I put a picture up of one of the female wrestlers who's my favourite, Liv Morgan, and it was Gemma that was commenting in the, the messenger back and forwards about what had happened in the wrestling. Can't believe this had happened. She, Gemma's well into it Is as she? well. Yeah, yeah. My, I mean, my wife always sort of laughs at my love of uh, wrestling, but she like, she tunes in now and again. Um, I, I always just remember one time that we were watching, and it was Randy Orton that it was on, and uh, he was doing like a bit of a promo in the middle of the ring, uh, you know, with his, his trunks and his, his shirt, and she stood there uh, just for ages watching him. I was thinking, oh, she's getting into this now, you know, she's like, waiting and watching, and, and she was there for a good five minutes whilst he's delivering this promo. And I was just like, are you? Are you get into this wrestling market? It's just now I'm just waiting for Randy to take his shirt off. I was like, ah, right, there we go, there yeah, we go. But see if you'd done that with any of the women wrestlers. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh can you imagine? Could can you, you imagine? imagine? Dear, oh, dear. It'd be divorce. <laughs> uh, well, I look forward to that then. Yeah. That's look forward it. to the stag do and the, uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the wedding. I can see you going as Drew McIntyre. I think you look, you've got a bit of a look about Drew. Not that I'm like Scottish and sound like I'm. Uh, <laughs> John, <laughs> Johnny's told his boy that Drew McIntyre is Craig's cousin. That's brilliant. <laughs> that is oh, so dear. funny. That's so good. Oh dear. Um, Cyrus Grace is on YouTube just saying, Craig, you are a tree snob. Yes. I, I, said yeah, it. I am. Said it. Yes. Um, Terry Please. Tom. Please. Huh? At uh, Christmas time, don't do what you've done last year and send pictures of your Christmas tree out. Oh, yeah. You should have seen some of the faces he was pulling. We should, uh, do you know what? Christmas time on wake up call, if you don't mind a bit of jesting and a bit of, you know, a bit of that, we'll do um, Rate My Tree with uh, Craig Laird. It, on, on, uh, honest, do honest. Do we have a bleep button? <sighs> I don't know, I don't think we do. No. Yeah, because uh, a, few, a few channels sort of um, uh, go live with like a five or ten second delay, yeah. don't they? So, yeah. Um, oh, and just by the way, for those of you who are commenting going, Craig getting married? Yeah, no, not yet. Not yet. Craig needs further. to find someone first. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Oh, for lack I'll, of I'll get this stag do and this wedding theme, uh, sorry, this wrestling theme wedding. Mate, seriously. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, it'll be mine and Johnny's last one. You know, we're, we're sort of t 10 years out of doing the weddings and stuff. So, yeah, we're there, mate. Me, me and uh, Johnny, first on the list, please. Uh, Johnny's looking forward to it so he can get away for the stag do. I was going to have it in Darlington, Johnny. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Um, just back to crafting matters for a second. Uh, so Rene says, Craig is getting married. Are we all invited? He's not getting married just yet, but I'm sure when he does, uh, you will all receive uh, the invites. Yeah, we might even do like a, a, a live stream, pay-per-view. Um, Elaine, and a few people are asking, are the waterproof and alcohol-proof inks wet enough to use with embossing powders? No, no. No, so for your embossing powders, the best ones to use are the pigment ones. Definitely 100% the best ones. But you can get away with using a water reactive uh, with the embossing powders because they do stay wet uh, a little bit longer. But yeah, your waterproof, your alcohol proof, your quick dry, you know, they dry far too quick. 
for any of your embossing powders to stick. So, okay. good question, but no. Um, lots of Christmas tree chat. Uh, Terry Thompson saying, Craig, I bought my kids three foot trees uh, to decorate with all of their school making so it didn't muck up my big tree. Uh, Vicky says, Craig, when I rearrange, uh, Craig, I rearrange when the kids are not in the room. Uh, and Debbie saying, Craig, my husband has to decorate the whole house. I just sit back and watch. He's always so proud of himself. See, um, that's, that's what I would be like. Yeah, Craig, as long as you can put away all the decorations, says Gilmore, you can be in charge of decorating. I um, do, but it doesn't matter how neat and tidy I put the baubles away, the lights away. I'm telling you, they're coming down from the loft and they're all tangled and a mess. And it's a Christmas tree fairy again. It is. It's got you. to be. It definitely is. Because I'm usually really quite good at that, but yeah. not every year. Do you get a, do you get a real tree? Uh, no and yes. So no, I don't. Because the, the tree that I've got is a relatively new one. It's only about two years old. It's yeah. a big one. Yeah. So not for inside, but Christmas just there. That was, because that would have been the first year that I'd been in my house. I actually got Christmas tree because I had Deccan. So I put a tree out oh, in my back Deccan. garden. And oh. put it with lights. And there was, the, you know, the big baubles you get. Yeah. I got them and uh, some tinsel. And I made sure it was secure enough so that it was wind, it wouldn't blow away. But I put that outside. Otherwise, you just see baubles just flying. But it's like <laughs> seeing out the Wizard of Oz, you know. <laughs> or Twister. A what? Twister. Oh, I've not seen that movie. <gasps> You've not seen it with Helen Hunt? No. Oh, it's on ITV. It's, on, it's been on about six times in the last two weeks. Oh, is it? What's it about? <laughs> it's about a board game. <laughs> <laughs> one man, oh, one board dear. game. <laughs> one terrible party. Twister is a board game. It's like a floor. It's like a floor board game. A floor, a floored, a floored game. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going down that path. I'm no? Not, not going down that path. No. So here we go. So we've done a little bit of watercolour that you can see using the colours that come within the set as well. So what we can do is let's bring in a 5 by 7 card blank. Those colours are new, and by the way, as well. If you um, are thinking oh, that they've been redone, no, they're new and specific to this uh, particular collection. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you went through these, but you've got... Oh, I've got no chance of reading those, have I? No, I'm not even going to try. You've got some nice colours in there. Um, oh, they're here! Big ass is here! Sorry, thank you, Johnny. I've got them right here. Oh, I can see! It's a miracle. You've got your warm natural, which is uh, woodland brown, russet orange, and winter rose, because you get three different colours within each pen, of course. You've got winter seasonal, which is your frosty blue, your arctic grey, and your festive red. And you've got your cool natural, which is your deep glacier. Glacier? Glacier? Glacier, Glacier, Icy Lake, and your Aspen Green. Um, so yeah, it gives you the ability to be able to kind of, you know, uh, mix these with your water, blend out effortlessly. They are gorgeous. This is the Frozen Forest collection. As I said, exclusive to this particular collection. You've not seen these before. So again, worthwhile getting. Not the fact that we're putting pens in collections as well now, as well as snow and glitter and all sorts. So yes, it's why it's flying out the door. Absolutely. Um, Mary Lee is saying, I have an order already, but I know that as soon as it's sent, I will think of something else that I should have added. Um, and Terry Leister on YouTube says, my uncle's gas station was in the film Twister. Oh, wow. Is that right? Was it filmed near a... Oh, no, was it just following the Twister past... Was yeah. It? Yeah. Um, yeah, they were, yeah, just basically, they had... They'd come up with this basically this invention yeah and actually it was called it was called um dorothy from wizard of oz what was because what it was it was like a great big container it was like a huge big metal container and inside was loads and loads of little balls but they had like microchips so what they had to do is they had to get this huge container into the twister so that all the balls would get sucked up and they can then uh, retrieve all the data to find out about how twisters start and all about them and a lot more stuff about them. So that is the gist of the of story. But as you ah. can imagine, it's a twister. Yeah. Um, is there a big twist at the end? No, but there's a cliffhanger. Oh, that's still better. Still that was a Johnny it? joke. I've oh. just stole that. Um, by the way, sorry, I know we're still crafting. Um, I, I love that. I love. Um, any more claims to fame, please? Um, any, any more claims to fame? Whether you've, I don't know, been in a film or a TV show, met anyone famous? I'd be, I love all of that. Uh, if you've been on telly, um, 
I'd love to be on TV. What? I've been on TV. And now, so have I. Very, what, oh, what? you were on Come Dine With Me. No, I wasn't. Was that not you? No. Who was? What were you on? You were on uh, Ready, Steady, Cook. Weren't you? You were. I thought it was you on Come Dine With Me. No. Because I said, was it the celebrity version? And you said, no. No. Who, who was I speaking? Maybe it was Joe. I've then. been on The Weakest Link with Anne Robinson. That's what it was. Yeah, I've been on Bargain Hunt, Big Break. Uh, it's only a game show. show Better believe, believe I'm right. right. And uh, of course I was on... Be snookering you tonight. Snookering you tonight. I was on Big Break. Yeah, I was. And Bargain Hunt, I did that about oh, 10, 12 years ago. We won the show with £9. Uh, and of course I was on Midsummer Murders, wasn't I? Um, Dead, dead guy in photograph. That was, that was, that, you look at my IMDb credits. Dead guy in photograph. Big role. I'm surprised Spielberg hasn't come knocking since then. Come Got paid for that one as well. Got paid for that. Big bucks. Big. Oh gosh, big break. Yeah. That was a snooker game that show was. here in the UK. For those of you who, um, in the US, I don't know if you had anything similar, but it was like contestants teaming up with snooker players and the contestants used to answer questions for the snooker players to pot the balls and the more balls they potted, the more prizes you could win and that kind of stuff. I got knocked out in the first round and won a, uh, it tells you how long ago it was, I won a, um, uh, what do you call it? Speedboat. No, speedboat, <laughs> John. A, um, oh, what do you call those cameras? With the, the, but it, what's it called? Polaroid, yeah, Polaroid camera. What a Polaroid camera! They're all the rage now. They're back uh, in. Them Polaroid and cameras. Them and Tamagotchis. Them and what? Po Polaroids and Tamagotchis. And disposable cameras are back in stock. Yeah. Are you put in my leg. No. Ah. Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah, all Johnny was playing with his Tamagotchi in the pub. You got to try to keep it alive. Uh, we can think I got voted out in the third round. Fourth round, fourth round. Is Anne really that nasty? You don't see her before the show. She literally just comes out onto the stage at the start of the show, so you don't see it, and she just, uh, yeah, she just goes. She was actually quite nice to me. Was she? Mm. Cause she'd done the American one, didn't she, for a while? Anne Robinson? Yeah, she went oh, out and done the American that. one, yeah. Yep. She's doing Countdown now. She is, yeah. yeah. I noticed that. I don't watch Countdown, but I did notice that it was on and then always remember where the weakest link um those that are long time home and away fans i've not watched it for years but al stewart in home and away his sister who she was always looking like the grumpy one uh, she was the the host of the weakest link in australia oh. which worked well because she's kind of got that Anne Anne robinson's kind of personality on the show yeah but yeah, Anne Robinson done some of the American one, if not all the American oh, one. Oh wow, okay, well, there you go. So you'll know who we're chatting about then. You'll know who we're chatting about. Wait, see, someone will come back and go, uh, no Craig, no she never. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I, I, vaguely, I vaguely remember that. Um, claims to fame, Caroline says, I was on the National Lottery show. And Pamela Evans on YouTube says, my hu did you win by the way, Caroline? Did you win the lottery? Um, Pamela says, my husband, Craig, has met John Cena. Du, 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 du. No way. Du, 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 du. Could you um, see him? Uh, <laughs> and I met, says Pamela, Jerry Seinfeld. Who? Jerry Seinfeld. He was in um, Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go. He was in, um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Seinfeld. Um, <laughs> Katie says, I was in the back of a music video being shot by Oasis in the middle of Death Valley, USA. Wow. I was an innocent tourist photobombing this production with no clue. And then I met Liam in the director's chair and talked away thinking he was just a guy. Well, there you go. There you go. Whilst we've been chatting, look at this masterpiece he's put together. There we go. It's a little bit of a 5 by 7 easel card, a little bit of watercolour in. Uh, so the stamp, majority of them were made from the magical Christmas set, but I did take the little sledge from the set here, which is Winter Wonderland. So I did take the sledge for that. Built our own little scene that you can see here and done a little offset easel card that you can see on that one now. That is absolutely Fabby, um, I love it. Do you want me to go through the boards again or should we just have a quick look around this with Charlotte? Because uh, I, th I think 
Listen, we're uh, uh, almost at 75% of the stock gone here. Uh, listen, again, if you want to go for it all, you get all of the paper pads. So you've got 12 by 12 uh, pattern paper pad, 36 sheets there, 24 sheets of your cardstock. You've got your vellum, you've got your acetate included. You've got a six by six mini paper pad as well. You've got your pens, you've got your glitter, you've got your um, uh, domes. You've also got your faux snow in there. You have got so much in the way of the builder snowman dies, the embossing folders there, the strip embossing folders the bigger one with this beautiful snow you've got your builder globe in there uh, you've got your 3d toppers included as well it's a huge 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 bundle uh, it is going to sell out it's just a case of um, uh, when rather than if uh, look at all of this I mean phenomenal it really really is um, there are individual elements available of this. As I said, if you want to go for the, um, the actual domes themselves, they are only now available within the bundle, uh, but everything else is still available. And if you want to uh, pick and mix and make your own mini bundle, you can do. Uh, you spend 40 or 40 and get an extra 5% off. But why not get the whole shebang today for £131.99 platinum or $169.56? And then if budget allows, add in uh, some more of those papers as well, maybe a bit more of the faux snow um, and the uh, glitter as well, because you're going to love working with this collection. I can't believe we have got less than 40 minutes remaining. So uh, let's give you time to check out your baskets right now. And we will be back in just a few moments time. We're going to have a look at that Nutcracker collection we launched uh, just a little while back. And we'll do that after you've had a look at this. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Oh, Caroline's just come back. Uh, Caroline, who was on the National Lottery Show, I said, did you win? And Caroline said, yes, we had a nice little windfall back in 1995. Wow, wow that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, lots of lovely comments coming through. Thank you. Uh, Laura says, Ben, do you get residuals when they replay uh, the Midsummer Murders? Uh, no, sadly, I, I don't. And even if I did, it would probably be pence. I mean, it wasn't a massive, a massive role. Um, <laughs> all right, Johnny, less of the sniggering. Thank you very much. Uh, Angela just say, can't wait to get this collection. And Christine says, Craig, how do you find the time uh, to do all of these demos? I mean, well, it's just what he does, isn't it? That's what you do. I don't sleep. I don't sleep much. No? No. It's my love. It's the love that I've got for it. He does it yes, for the love does. of it. Do it for the love. Right. Um, 
just want to touch on this, uh, the Nutcracker collection, um, which we launched during the Christmas event. So we launched this on the 28th of the last month. Uh, this is brilliant, actually. And if um, you are a big fan of um, Sarah Signature Collections, if you love your, um, your sort of craft boxes as well, this is perfect. You're going to get 50 bonus points with this, and it's 315 elements within this collection, which basically tells the story um, of the Nutcracker. And it is a massive bundle. If I just quickly take you through some of the elements that you are going to get in here. Um, stamp and die sets, once again. So you can see you've got all of the different characters included in here, like the Nutcracker. Uh, you've got the Sugar Plum Fairy in there, uh, the Mouse King included as well. But what I love love again you've got some really really beautiful um, stamps uh, that uh, allow you then to be able to cut them out with your dies as well some really really lovely sentiments too as always with our um our uh, boxes you're going to get uh, some beautiful papers love the design on these again featuring all of the different elements different characters from the story uh, and i love the fact as well that these have uh, got that kind of real sort of vintage feel to them double-sided once again the fact that you've got the seams on the forefront and then on the back uh, you've got those um, patent papers as well so plenty to love as far as those are concerned also within the collection uh, you're going to get your uh, colored card 24 sheets of that all matching up absolutely perfectly you've got your envelopes included in there too there's 12 of those uh, then on top of that you've got beautiful stencils included lots of those within the collection and embossing folders as well and on top of that here's your embossing folder by the way uh, and on top of that you're also going to get um, all of these lovely embellishments as well so uh, coordinating ribbons in three different sizes uh, you're going to get some beautiful uh, adhesive gems included in there as well all beautifully packaged I think uh, a lot can be said about this for the fact that it looks like an absolutely gorgeous collection uh, 315 elements making I think one of the biggest um, boxes that we've done and as I said uh, one of the kind of collections that you'll come back to time and time again £31.99 or $35.84 is the platinum price um, on the Nutcracker. Uh, we've also got an Explorer kit on the show for you as well, which a few of you have um, had a little nibble at here because uh, this gives you the um, opportunity to get your hands on the Envelope Box Creator. Uh, it comes with the actual um, Envelope Box Creator itself for you to be able to create uh, all of those different sized Envelope Boxes. Perfect potentially for for um, the kit that we've just shown you, the uh, watercolour Christmas kit. You've got 50 sheets of your uh, paper and you've got uh, one of your uh, glue tape pens included as well. £24 or $28.80 is the deal of this if you're shopping with us and you are a Platinum member. Right. Oh, sorry, are we going to have a look at the Envella box? Oh, Nutcracker, we're going to do Nutcracker. All right, uh, what are you going to be looking at from the Nutcracker collection? So we're going to do a little bit of a, a, a shaped card. What a few of you have uh, mentioned as of late, that within the dies you get a Christmas tree die, but you're not too sure how you would use it because we don't actually have a Christmas tree stamp. So I'm going to show you uh, what I, quite, I think is quite a nifty way to use it. So what we're going to do first and foremost is I'm bringing in one of the small cards that you get. So this is one of the small ones. And then I'm going to put an inside layer to start with. So we're going to go in and we're going to turn all the way around. And then we're going to pop this into the middle. So this is going to be our inside all done. So let's press that one into place. Then because of the size of the card blank, what I've done is I've got a piece of white smooth stamping card, six by six, and what I've done, I've scored in at three quarters of an inch on each side. So we have got the center panel that we can see here. So what I'm then going to do is let's go in with another layer, pattern paper and the card stock from the collection. So let's go in here. So the kind of like the ruby red is four and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then therefore the pattern is, can't you remember what I said there? So the pattern is going to be four inches by, we can line that up properly, five and a half. Okay. We can pop that one into here. So then what I'm going to do, because this will be 
actually the wrap for my card. What I'm going to do is let's go in with our tree die. So I've assembled all the layers to start with and then we're going to secure this into place. So I'm going to tape it on the inside because it's the outside that we're actually wanting to be one of the focal points. So if it was to tear ever so slightly, I'm not overly concerned because the tape is within the middle. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to run that one through and then what we can do is we can stamp out the ballerina and the grandfather clock and we can do a little bit of colouring. Uh, Mary Pack saying I love, uh, oh sorry I've just stamped up the nutcracker images and I love them and a few people commenting just saying that um, they kind of double ordered on these as well uh, in the fact that they um, ordered a box to craft with and then a box to keep as well. I know lots of you like to be able to do that. Like, you know, it's the same with the paper pads, isn't it? Sometimes you find yourself ordering a couple of them so that you can craft with one uh, and then keep one as well. Uh, Anne says, what are those tiny circles for? Tiny circles. Tiny circles. Tiny circles. Oh, within, Was it on the dies? Within the dies. Tiny circles. These ones here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's maybe baubles, a specific reason, but yeah, you could use them. Well, for a prime example, use them for in the little tag die. Oh, then yeah. What you could do is put them in the size of the banners and that as well, if you oh, want yeah. to. Make your own little ornaments as well. But yeah, little ornaments, top of the ornaments. And yeah. that. So I don't know if there is an actual purpose for them for a reason, but yeah, start to use them in these different ways. Be nice to see what you do. So what I can do now is then we can then come along and then let's see if it's not quite cut because that is obviously two layers of cardstock and then a 300 GSM. What I can do is I'm gonna come back in. Let's take that out. We are going to pop that back into place and it slots back into place. We're going to do it again, but this time, what I'm going to do, and, you know, really, I probably should have added my metal shim in to start with because it is three layers that I'm trying to cut. So get that sandwich back into place. As I say, anything like this, you feel it, just click into place as to where it was originally. So this time, that little bit of a shim with that metal, that's going to be enough to finish off that cut it's just about there it's just starting to release some of the fibers within the white card stocks just catching on so instead of forcing it out what to do is we'll just do it again but with a metal shim so if we take this one out now and then if we then take that off there we go you can see it comes away no problem at all beautiful so there is that so we're going to set that to the side and then we can do a little bit of stamping and coloring bin um, again, if you've got any more questions as far as any of the goodies on the show are concerned, uh, make sure you get those in. And actually, I suppose in the next 15 minutes or so, uh, we're going to be getting you voting for our demo of the show. And then, of course, the uh, demo of the day, the card of the day, card of the day, cut, card of the day, 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 card of the day. Oh, I want to go back and watch old episodes of that. What, card of the day? <laughs> Blankety blank. Did you have that in the US, Blankety blank? I think there was. I think there was, yeah. called something totally different. I can't believe Charlotte has never heard of Blankety blank. God. It was, it was, wasn't it? Le oh yeah, it was Terry Wogan did it first, then yeah. Les Dawson, and then Lily Savage hosted it, and like, uh, I would say that was the early noughties. Do you know, there was a special at Christmas, Bradley Walsh done it. For oh, yeah, last Christmas. Last Christmas, yeah. Yes. I think it was, a, it was either a one-off or it was a couple of episodes, yeah. but Bradley Walsh, he done it in the, here in the UK. Yeah. It's a fun show. But like you said, you had like the panel of um, celebrities who you thought like sometimes they were just trying to stitch up the contestants because yeah. the blank would be so easy to guess. And then they'd have to try and match it up with the team of celebrities and then and you think, oh, you've just done that on purpose and that person's now lost because of you. You've just lost them, the Polaroid camera. And the, they've got, now got the blankety blank checkbook and pen. A um, couple of questions coming in, so we'll do these. Five Marion eight. says, is the Envella box creator different to the Ultimate Pro? No. It's the same one. It's a really good question. 
A really, really good question. It was actually one that uh, someone asked last week when me and Sarah were doing the Ryman's Facebook Live. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it is the same one. So uh, if you've already got like the Ultimate Pro or that, then you know that you've already got it. But then, do you know something, you know, maybe, I, I don't, maybe there's a reason that you're tempted to go for it, maybe a gift or something. Yeah. You can then gift it if you want to. But it's also good to know that, don't get us wrong, it sounds daft me saying this, we don't actually intend for you to buy anything that you've already got, so therefore we're just letting you know, absolutely, it's the same one. If you've got that one, you might not want to get this one, because mm -hmm. it's the same. Um, Carol just saying, I like the idea of using the tree as an aperture, and Kate Easley on Facebook, I don't know why I said you said it like that, Kate, sorry, or KT, Katie Easley on Facebook says, Craig, do you use the regular Gemini more than the junior when you do these shows? No, I very, very rarely do I ever use the large Gemini. No, junior is your fave, isn't it? It is. And then the midi. And then the midi, yep. My, um... I know I say this time and time again, so I do apologise, but at home, my Gemini Junior, it sits to the right-hand side of me, and my MIDI sits to the left-hand side of me, because majority of my die-cutting that I do at home and here is going to go through the Junior, and it's all to do with speed. If I want it really quickly, I go with the MIDI. Obviously, if I'm maybe wanting something cut, but I want to do something at the same time, I'll send it through the Junior. That gives me that little bit of hands, hands-free time. But then also remember, and even if it's a very, very small die, remember your small mini folder will also go through your MIDI as well. So, you know, it doesn't just have to be the MIDI folder, the mini folder will also go through the MIDI. So that's why, you know, between the junior and the MIDI, it's the ones that I use most of the time. If you do see me, like earlier on, if you see me using a, the large Gemini, it's uh, purely down to the card blank size and it won't fit. I love the fact that you've got it all kind of set up in your uh, in your craft room there, everything ready to go for kind of like multi, like sort of batch making and... Yeah, talking of that actually, don't do it just now. We love her to bits, but don't do this just now. Wait for about another 25 minutes. When this ends, go across onto Debbie Robinson's Facebook. Within that little VT there, we were all having a look. She's yeah. done her craft room, she's got it finished and she's posted a video. It looks amazing. I doubt Debbie will maybe be watching tonight, but if you do, Debbie, or you're catching up, it looks phenomenal. You've done a cracking job. It's funny you it said it. I was just literally crafting. trying to find it. Has she put it on her, on her Facebook? On her CC Facebook page, yeah. Uh, oh, and on Instagram as well. It looks amazing. Uh, yeah, she's been going on, that, on about that for ages, isn't she? She has. It's, you know, like all of us, though, just been so busy that she's oh, not had it. a chance to do it. So that was part of the reason that she took uh, a holiday. Give herself a bit of a breather, but on the other hand, I don't think she's had much of a breather by the amount that she's been doing. Whoa, I'm just looking at it now. Whoa, that's amazing. Look at that. It's awesome, isn't it? Look at the amount of stuff she's got. She has. How is that, on, how is that in comparison to yours, Craig? Oh, uh, hers looks lovely and organised and neat. And yeah? Yeah. And yours? <laughs> yours well, looks fairly neat. Well, you always kind of, whenever I see you on your lives, you never get to see that much of your room. You're always sort of backed up to what does look neat, but I wonder whether or not it's as neat as it looks. It's organised chaos. Right. Put it this way, in the cubes and all that that I've got, I can pretty much tell you where everything is. Right. But, yeah... It is uh, purely down to the size because I'm in the smallest room. That's brilliant. If, yeah, if you get a chance after this show, uh, head over to Debbie's page and give her a little sneaky like because that video is brilliant and she's obviously um, spent a lot of time. Oh, she is, she is. Debbie, Debbie says message. Yes, oh. I'm watching, boys. Thank you, Craig, says Debbie. Ah, oh, Debbie. How are you? Sending you lots of, lots of love. Sending lots of love. you lots of love, Debbie. Yeah. I feel like I've not seen you in ages, TV wifey. Where you been? Where you been? When am I going to see you again? She's, when will I see you I know. Well, again? I would say she's had a well-deserved break. She's yeah. had an, having a well-deserved break, although, like I say, doing that craft room. Don't know if we're break. I think, actually, Debbie, you need another break to get <laughs> yeah. over this one that you've just had. But honestly, it looks phenomenal. Neither of us had a chance to comment because we were literally looking at it during that VT. Yeah. But it looks phenomenal.
Good work, Debbie and Hannah just saying, I've just seen Debbie's craft room, woo-hoo. Yeah, um, after the show, 20 minutes time, get on over to Debbie's page, give it a little like, you will be amazed at how amazing it looks now. Fab, love that. Does look really good. Now what we'll do is let's just uh, skip forward a couple of steps. So what I've then do is carry on colouring in with our ballerina and also our grandfather clock. So what I've done, What I've done is gone in <laughs> with the gold brown blend, dark red blend. It's gotten a bit hot in here. True blue blend. <coughs> and <laughs> ice grey blend. <laughs> and uh, coloured them in. So what we can do now <laughs> what I've, so we've got the inside of our card we've got it here so now what we can do is because we're starting to then wrap it up what I'm then going to do I'm going to bring in another piece got another piece here Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we need to come up. We need to just, just about a slip of the tongue there when I was talking about the grandfather <laughs> clock. Very slight, just about <laughs> saved myself. That's pushed him over the edge, which then has pushed me over the edge and the guys in the gallery as well. Very close uh, there. Have to acknowledge it because you're going to be going. What, what, what's going on? Very slight. Oh, so. There we go. So now what I've done, still using that card black that we've done, I've taken another piece of pattern paper and I've cut it to the same size. So what I'm going to do now is, we are going to be using it as a wrap in a minute, but I'm going to use this as a rough guide to position it. Although in saying that, it's very, very easy for me to slip that just into the middle. So what we're going to do is let's add our adhesive. Craig! I've got a question for you. Yeah. Sandra Schmieg on YouTube says, Craig, would you suggest getting the junior or the midi as your first die cutting machine? Oh, right. Question, that is a good one. I, I, would, I would say the, the junior. Mm. That's because if you go for a midi, you will want to go for the junior at some point. Or you will go for an electric die cutting machine. So I, I would say starting off, it all goes down to, it, it goes down to obviously, yes, personal preference, but it also goes down to maybe you've got a little bit of dexterity issues or that. Any like dexter, dexterity issues, go for your uh, electric die cutting machine because you don't need to do much handling. The folder and the MIDI, you have to wind around. If there's no issues whatsoever, I would say go for the junior because if you go for the MIDI, you will want to end up going for the junior anyway, down the line. Yeah. So uh, I, I would say junior, um, you know, you've got the pause, you've got the reverse function and that, you've got the plates, you've got all of that that you would know and love anyway. So as I say, you know, if you start with manual, you will always want to go for an electric machine. So okay. if you can, just jump ahead and go for the electric uh, die cut machine. That, that's what I would say anyway. Uh, thank you, uh, that, Sandra, that was for you. Uh, Patricia says, what is up with Ben? Nothing, I'm fine, I'm all, all good. Uh, just high on life. Pamela says, it's a good thing Joe isn't there. Uh, Patty says, I just love these guys. Actually, the whole CTV team, keeping it... <laughs> you all right, John? Yeah. John's just falling over. Uh, actually, the whole CTV team keeps it real. So funny. Uh, and Debbie Robinson says, Oh, I know TV hubby. I'm back next week. Ah, oh, we'll be weary eyed and cream crackered, but I can't wait to see you all. Love and miss you all. That is from our, um, our lovely Debbie. Uh, lots of crying face emojis on the socials as well. Oh. Not quite sure why. Um, do, you want, do you want a little bit of tease of upcoming wake up calls? What? Upcoming wake-up calls starting tomorrow. Oh yeah, little oh, bit tease. of a tease. Oh yeah, 
What are you doing then? What's going on? So, what we're going to start doing yeah. is if whoever is in the remaining of the day, whether it's Jan, whether it's Debbie or the other Debbie, if they're in at the three o'clock and the seven o'clock show, UK time, yeah. these are going to be in the building. So what they're going to do is if they're in, they're going to come in and they're going to join in and do a demo in the middle of wake-up call. Oh, right. So, for instance, tomorrow, Jan's in on the launch day show and also Creative Cravings. Right. So, therefore, what she's going to do, she's going to pop in in the middle of wake-up call. I'll do the first demo. Jan will do the middle one. Then I'll do the end one. So, we'll still all be together. Joe and all that will still be here, but we're just going to mix it up a bit. So, you're going to get some uh, fresh uh, ideas as well within wake-up call. Wow. I think it's going to be such a good idea. You and I think it's later on next week that me and Debbie are together. My Debbie. Your Debbie. My Debbie. Yeah. Listen Your to me. Debbie. My Debbie. Uh, yeah, there you go. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. Oh, and by the way, I know we haven't forgotten team, but don't forget, we've got a little sneaky preview thing to do before the end of the show as well. We've got to fill, fit that in in the next 15 minutes, along with the demo of the show and the demo of the day. So we've got a lot to do, haven't we? Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. So here, what, so what I've done is I've popped the grandfather clock within the middle there. So we've used that Christmas tree die as an aperture. Love it. So what I'm then going to go in with the ballerina down into, let's do a, a bit of an angle because I don't want her to cover up the top. I'm going to go in at a slight bit of an angle. So it's just coming in there. You could tape down the little toy soldier if you want, but I like that aspect of it kind of being free flowing. Then what I'm going to do, now I should already have it, so we've taken from the stamp set, Parumpa Pum Pum, on that one. <laughs> I knew that? that would get Johnny going again. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise that was <laughs> I thought you'd literally just added that in. I just, no. I, I didn't see that sentiment. I thought, <laughs> I thought he'd literally just gone, I've just taken, <laughs> I've just taken this. <laughs> I was like, what's he doing? I'm just taking this from the stamp set. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just the way you said it. That's so funny. I'm just taking it from the stamp set. <laughs> Every time I say that, when Johnny's in, it <laughs> just tickles him. God, that was brilliant. Oh, my goodness me. That has really tickled me. I'm just taking it from the stamp set. <laughs> <laughs> pump now I'm just pump. taking a bit of chunky glue. Pa -pum -pum -pum. <laughs> pa -pum -pum -pum. Then we can take yeah. our ribbon, pa -pum -pum -pum. Right. <laughs> and then that is our ra -pum 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 -pum. <laughs> car done. Pa -pum -pum -pum. See here. So we've got that one there. Oh. I don't think anyone's paying attention to this now. They're more concerned about John. Yeah, he's fine. He didn't really fall out. He dropped some. He dropped some uh, ink, pads. ink pads. I think he's fine. Nothing worse than having your ink pads organised or your pens, and then you drop them. <gasps> oh, heart wrenching! <laughs> there we go. So a nice little different take on how you can use that Christmas tree die that is within the middle. So it's a nice little uh, smaller card for you. Oh dear. Patricia says, I'll ask again, what is up with Ben? He just said it was funny. He just went, look at my stamps, pum 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 And get some glue, pum 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 John is fine. pum pum pum, -pum, -pum, -pum. Uh, The Nutcracker collection is yours. Platinum price, $31.99 or $35.84. pum 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 Thank you, John. Uh, let's get the vote going. For, we've been silly today, haven't we? Uh, let's get the vote going for the demo of the show, because then we need to do the demo of the day. So, uh, Craig, could you please line up? <laughs> I've just got it in my head now. Please, could you line up all of the uh, cards that you've made over the course of the last hour and 50 minutes? Pum pum pum. Here we go then. So we use it from the relatively new, the recent launch of our craft kit, which is the mix and match embossing folders here. Then we went on to what is launching tomorrow with Jan and Joe, and that is our scene edibles. Then we went into watercolour Christmas that you can see here. And then we went in with the Nutcracker collection just down here. So there we go. So one, two, three, and four. So number one number two, number three, and number four. One, two, three, and four. 
you've literally got <laughs> two, about three, three minutes, three minutes uh, to get you voted on that before we do the demo of the day. I've got a real giggle on now, and it's not going to get any better because I've now got to tell you <laughs> what's coming up <laughs> on launch day <laughs> on the 5th of August. <laughs> It's the Christmas Wobblers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I got to <laughs> The rum pum pum pum. The, all right, I'll show you the, I'll show you the characters that you're going to get. And then, have you got some wobblers over there? I do. <laughs> these, these are great. And actually, they might not be what you expect. Because when I thought wobblers, I thought like <laughs> wobbly rockers. <laughs> But these wobble in a different way. Craig will take you because you get you get a little die that you cut and it allows. Well, Craig will show you in a minute, and I'll show you on one card here. Look, you got your little penguin there. Look, and it, can you see? He just his wobbly bit. His his wobbly bit is there, so that he, he wobbles on the. Craig will do it better than me. Anyway, you, you're going to get all of the different wobbly wobbly characters in here. So. You've got your gingerbread man. Um, you've got um, also in this collection your wobbling robin. Wobbling robin. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. Rocky robin. Dude. Doodly dude. Uh, you've then got your uh, wobbling elf. You've got your wobbling penguin. You've got your. Uh, oh, your wobbling Mrs. Claus is in there. Look, there she is. <sighs> you've then got. She reminds uh, me of someone. Uh, who does it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you've got your wobbling Santa, you've got your wobbling snowman, and then you've got your wobbling Rudolph launching on the 5th of August. Craig, can you talk us through how we make these wobble and why these are going to be wobbling their way out of the building when they officially launch on the 5th? Let me tell you, when I say these are so easy, that is an understatement. So what you're going to be able to do is you're going to make cards like this that wobble so oh, they yeah. wobble back and forwards so what you're going to get is within each set you're going to get your character for instance this one is santa claus but then what you're also going to get is you're going to get a circle die yes now, i know it's hard to see this acetate here but it's a circle die and it is a, a spiral die so you're going to cut that die into some acetate and what it does is it cuts out the spiral effect you're going to attach that to your card, you're then going to attach it to your character, and that's going to make it wobble. Now, the further you pull out the acetate, because it will start to hold its shape, so the further you start to pull it out, the more effective it can be, yeah. but it does wobble. But then why not use the characters as standalone stamps yeah. and then have just one of them wobbling. Yeah. Use it in your nesting dice so that they could wobble, that you can see here yeah then you can do a collage of them a few of them together some can wobble some will stay still so larger cards smaller cards we've got your penguins here as well so all exactly the same concept but do you know something ben even if you don't use the die to create the wobble you're going to be using these characters in so many different are. crafting kits that you've got Think about your penny sliders. Think about your spinner characters. Think about just your accent characters. Popping them in your domes your as well. Into your domes, yeah. Mm. All these different things that you can be using. So all of these ones have all been made using that wobbler aspect, but these could just be flat on the cards or your glue gel or your foam pads. But these really are so much fun. And what's really good about them as well is, yes, you're going to color them in, but they're not overly big, so they're not going to be a time-consuming project to make. So if you need to make a quick card, but you want to make a fun quick card, this is going to be it. So much so, I think this is going to be potentially one of the most amount of demos I'm going to have within a show, because they are relatively quite quick to do. I cannot wait. I've had some fun over the last few days prepping little bits and pieces. When you see these, actually how they work, what you can do, how easy they are, you guys are going to absolutely go crazy for them. Um, 3 p.m. on 
Thursday. Those will be wobbling their way out of here. Gilmore just saying, Ben, I'm enjoying you watching you crack up. Thank you for the laughs on a stressful day. We've had fun today. I've just about composed myself after all of that. It's funny, isn't it? When you get something in your mind, you just can't stop laughing. Um, demo of the show, Craig, is... Have you got them there? Yeah. Oh, numero zwei. Five? No, two. Oh, two? Yeah. I thought you said five. No, two. No, uh, zwei. Bit of German for you so there. So, was that... Uh, it that was, was the C negible, wasn't uh, it? Oh, yeah. Was that... I thought it was the first one you did. No, the first one was the impossible. Oh, uh, yes. Folder. That's gorgeous. So that's that's the demo of the show. So demo of the day then. Let's just quickly do these. So demo of the day. Uh, number one is Craig's uh, Globe Shaker. Shake it, shake it. Uh, so that is number one. Number two uh, is Sarah's beautiful uh, card uh, slash box that she made on launch date a little bit early on. So that's number two. And number three is the card that you have just voted for. So there you go. One for the shaker, two for the box, three for the card. You have got three minutes to get your votes in uh, on that um, uh, card of the day. Couldn't think what I was doing there for a second. Um, quickly, very, very quickly, I've had a right old mess here. Uh, very quickly, just to remind you, on the launch tomorrow with Joe and Jan, three o'clock, uh, the Christmas Creator Card Scene Edgeable Die Collection. Uh, we're giving you a bit of a little uh, sneaky peek on this tonight. A few of you jumped in and grabbed it. Actually, a few of you had bought this before the show even started, uh, but it launches officially tomorrow at three o'clock here in the UK, 10 o'clock East Coast. Uh, it's 67.99 or 79.95. Platinum, £54.39 or $63.96. These are great because it gives you, with one pass, some beautiful, beautiful scenes. Um, these are, as I say, like your die bridge, really, because you've got your creator cards and your edgeables kind of uh, moulded it into one. Six different dies that you're going to get. So you've got your traditional Christmas tree there. You know, we've been talking a lot, haven't we, at this show, about the detail that we managed to get into our dies here. And it really is shown off in this collection. You've got your rain deer forest there with um, Rudolph this is that gorgeous nativity scene as well which is called Mary and Joseph that's the third of the six dies that you get within this collection then you've got your elegant angel again so much detailing uh, that you're going to achieve with this collection then the uh, die which Craig used to create that gorgeous scene uh, that you voted for as the demo of the show that one's called Bethlehem and then lastly uh, these really cool uh, snow folk. Uh, so those are the six dies that you get. We make it up to eight elements by giving you your die brush and your foam as well. Uh, those are really, really super handy tools to have with this particular collection because you get so much detail within those dies. So £54.39 platinum, $63.96 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US. And as I said, if you want to see more inspiration uh, and more ideas with those tomorrow, uh, three o'clock here in the UK is what you need to be... Um, uh, looking out for. I have got the winner of the demo of the day, so let's just quickly do that. Uh, who won? Was it Craig or was it Sarah? So we've got number one, we've got number two, and we've got number three. I can tell you that it is going to be a Craig card. The winner of demo of the day is number three. Ooh. There you go. Yep, there's your winner. Awesome. Happy with that? I am very happy with that one. Really, really happy with that one. To be fair, it could have been any of them, yeah. that's for sure. Absolutely. But then there we go. That's going to go up. Lovely stuff. We shall uh, pop that up to our crafty walk of fame. Um, and what a brilliant show. Obviously, Craig, you are back tomorrow. And just again, for people who have maybe just tuned in for the last five minutes, uh, something a bit different coming up on future wake up calls, isn't there? It is, yes. Yeah. So it's not going to be every wake up call, but where we have got uh, our demonstrator in at the three o'clock and seven o'clock, for instance, tomorrow, Jan's going to be in for the two shows. So what she's going to do, she's going to pop into the middle of wake up call. I'll do the first demo, Jan will do the second demo, then I'll do the third demo, and then that's going to continue to happen every couple of days with a uh, wake-up call, depending on who's about. So, as I say, tomorrow Jan's going to be joining us. It's going to be me and Joe again back together. We're going to be having a look at what's coming up in launch day as well. We've got a couple of other picks as well that we're going to be featuring as well. Do you know something? Jan's going to be demoing something that I've not seen for quite a wee while. Oh, yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. Ooh. Something to do with a window and a reveal card. Ooh. 
sure. Uh, well, we shall look forward to that. Um, all that remains for me to say is if you have got any items in your basket from this show, now is the time to be checking out because we're almost done. Thank you so much. If you want more from us here, by the way, at Crafters TV, you can head over to my um, Facebook page because uh, you'll be able to see our little Facebook Live that we did uh, earlier on. Uh, you can also head over to Debbie's Facebook page as well and see the video of her uh, little, um, well, her new craft room, basically, that she has uh, sorted out. Uh, so, yeah, lots for you to see there. And make sure you are back with us, of course, tomorrow here on Crafters TV as well. Uh, big thank you to Craig. Uh, big thank you to Rachel, who's been keeping me steady with all of the socials on the show. Uh, thank you to Johnny. Thank you to Charlotte. Thank you to the boys, Jake and uh, John. Thank you, guys. Uh, and thank you to you guys for watching as well. Uh, I will see you, part-timer, hashtag part-timer, uh, back uh, on Monday. Um, so yes, I've got a few days. I've worked two days. Got to go and have about five days off. I can't hear the guys now because I think the batteries in me uh, talk back gone. But I think we've got about nine seconds to go, seven seconds to go. So I will say uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, Craig. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you next week. Uh, bye for now. Toodles. <laughs>